Until now, most brain injury studies have looked at older athletes, like those who played in the NFL and other professional league. This new study looks at younger athletes who played on fields like this. Drew Mulligan played hockey throughout high school and college and took a lot of hits. By the time he turned 22, his family had noticed changes. His impulse control was like basically non-existent. So Mulligan's sister says after he died by suicide, her family decided to donate his brain to Boston University, where researchers confirmed he did indeed have chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. It's very painful to kind of come to grips with how much he most likely suffered. In a newly published study, BU researchers say they looked at the brains of 152 donors who died of unrelated causes. All were under the age of 30, all had played contact sports like hockey, football, and soccer, and all had CTE symptoms. When their brains were examined, about 41% were confirmed to have had the brain lesions characteristic of CTE. What's important to, about this to me is it can occur quite early. For example, the study's lead author says they found CTE in a 28-year-old woman who played soccer in college. The study did not compare young athletes to non-athletes, so there's no way to know how much sports contributes to CTE. But researchers say it is enough to show that some sports need to change. It's imperative that we start to get very serious about eliminating what we call head impacts uh, in these sports.